another banger. Pay attention very well. When the video ends, I will explain more better. Great work. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those things that they are ammunition from Fulanis. Now you begin to understand. Welcome development to Southerners. Welcome development to Southerners. But now watch the video very well. Watch. Pay attention to here now. Pay attention. <laughs> Hey, we are going to be here. 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 We are going you are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazi Namdekano. I still remain Mazi Okenina Okechuku, known as Biafran Child, Washineke, the general. My great people, this is what they call welcome development, at the same time, bomb shared. As we just finished watching this video, it's very, very important that we understand every single thing that the reporter said. Should in case, if you don't understand me very well, you take this video to Yoruba Odudu, a man or woman, she or he will explain more better what really happened. But I will tell you what happened. You see, when we speak, people listen. When we tell people what is about to come, they listen because I always bring original and authentic information to our people. I'm not coming here to lie to you. What am I going to gain if I'm coming here to be telling you a fabricate things that I just thought about in my mind? That is what they call deceit. But I am not coming here to tell you anything fake. We are coming to bring you reality. What is happening in South? What is happening in South? Today, things are happening and our people are doing the best. They are trying to secure and protect their land and forest. Now you begin to understand. This video that we just finished watching now happened in Ekere. Uh, if I don't pronounce this well, Ekere Ekiti. Ekere Ekiti. In Yoruba, Odudua land. The OPC and Omotekun in Ekere Ekiti intercepted two trucks loaded of Fulani with arms hidden under grass sheets. Do you know what that happens? I will explain more better in detail so that you understand what, what I'm talking about. The Fulani from Sahel, Nijel, from Chad, all over West Africa, trooping into that contraption to take over the Southerners, to take over the land of Southerners. Like I always tell my people, I want you people to know that Fulanis, they have already taken the land of Awosa. Now they are coming into South to be able to infiltrate the Southerners and take over their land. And as we are speaking every day, the Southerners are waking up. Omotekun and, uh, uh, Omotekun and OPC. Now you people get this hand. Now you people begin to understand all those things that we are saying. That I said that you should report everything that is happening in Yoruba land. Now you begin to say it. What did they do now? The Fulani foot soldiers, the Fulani foot soldiers with ammunition, they have come. They loaded it in two trucks. That truck that you see is only one, but there are two trucks. They did not show the other one, but they said it's two trucks. As the information get to our, get to our desk. Two trucks intercepted from Fulani. From, they are coming from Chad. 
Now, when I'm telling you people in 2022, that is when the war will start, civil war, that the Fulani are the people that was going to start the war. Now, you begin to see it. Now, they are coming with their unsophisticated weapon and assorted rifle and all kind of things that they are they have already gathered they put it under a truck or they put or i mean they loaded it flat now carry a grass put on top like say they want to go and use it to feed their cattle when we are telling you people that fulani think that they have sense fulani has no sense fulani have sense only when you are talking about ethnic cleansing and conquest which is Islamist Wahhabist slash jihadist terrorist. That is what they know how to do. Other things they don't, they are zero. They have no thinking faculty. There is no thinker in Fulani land. Go and ask them. There is no thinker. Fulani has no thinker. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Go and ask. Go and make your research and come back. According to the reporter, he said that you guys, the Fulanis, the Fulanis, they are coming. Do you think that Fulani can, they want to come and take over Ekiti? This thing that I said happened in Ekiti. As I'm speaking to you now, they are now under uh, 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 custody of uh, OPC and Omotekun. And the reporter was angry, saying that they don't supposed to leave. Of course, you see, I say things the way it is. You know, when I come to tell my people what is happening, I always tell them reality. I don't come to fake you. I can never fake you. So what happened today, as I'm speaking to you, that OPC and Omoteku, they caught Fulanese that they are coming with a full truck, two truck full ammunition. Full trucks. They have already loaded it on the ground. As you just watch the video, they, they, you see what I'm bringing you. I bring you things that you can see, so that you will not say that the Biafran child is concocting story. You see it with your eyes. Kuro kuro. Am I lying to you? This thing happened today. Go and ask them in Akure. Uh, so I mean to say, Ekere in Ekiti. Go and ask them in Ekere in Ekiti. So PC and Omotekun, they will tell you what I'm talking what I'm talking about. We are not lying. But there's something I want to tell you, people. OPC, right on Omotekun, continue doing your work. Like I always tell my people, this is a work on development. But there is something that our people also where I came from, which is the Biafran people, especially the Igbo speaking Biafra, they call themselves Ohanes Ato Nehu, Ohanes Ndigamagife. That is the way I put them because that is what they are. Do you know that when that incident happened in uh, Ondo, when they massacred people in a church, which is the handwork of Fulani because that is what they know how to do best to kill a man and destroy and put fear in you so that they can be able to take over your land. Omoteko, you people are right on. You people should ride on and well done. And this is a very, very, very welcome development. That is what you people are showing now to us. And I love it. I love it. Do you know that all this Ohanes Atru Negu Namonke? Do you know that after that incident, do you know that Ohanes Atru Negu went to Yoruba land and tell the Yorubas? That they should defend their land. They shouldn't wait. They shouldn't wait. Government to come and defend them. That they should go and defend their forests and their bushes. Why these intellectuals in Igbo speaking land, Biafra, are now going and calling government? Uh, I mean, the the, the Fulani from the from the federal, which is the terrorists, to come down to hinterland and begin to massacre our people. You see how cowardice our people is. Do you know how see how idiocy Ohanes Aturuneu is? You are going to Yoruba or to do a land to advise them to protect their land and their bushes and forests. Why you idiots? We have intellectuals in uh, hinterland are now calling Fulani from Fedra to begin to come and kill ESN and, uh, and IPOB that are protecting you. Idiots everywhere. Now you begin to understand. This article that I'm telling you is, is in public domain. Ohanes Aturo Eyu wrote to Yoruba land that they should protect themselves. They shouldn't wait for government. But Mazin Namdekanu set up ESN 
to protect our forest and our bushes. Why these people are giving us stud, how to attack live stud, giving us stud from back, stabbing us from back, killing their own people, why they are advising other people. You see how cowardice the leaders in hinterland is. Do you see how idiocy is running in their brain? These people has no sense at all. That is why I call them Ohanes and they are throw. Egu na monke. That is who they are. Good day and welcome.